In this video, I'll show you how to play your PlayStation 2 games, whether they're on original disc or in ISO format, including running Need for Speed Hot Pursuit right off the hard drive of this PlayStation 3 Slim in ISO format over HDMI. You'll need to have a PlayStation that has custom firmware installed. Only a few select models of the original PlayStation 3 FAT were capable of running PS2 games, so this is a necessary step. You'll also need to have Multi-Man Content Manager running on your PlayStation 3 with custom firmware. If you need to learn how to do all of these things, I have a video for you linked conveniently in the description below. And finally, one part of this tutorial requires that you know how to use FTP access to your PlayStation 3. I've got a video in the description below to teach you how to do this if you're not familiar with the process yet. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm also going to show you some bonus content on how to use virtual PS2 memory cards on your PlayStation 3 to make sure you save your progress on all of these games that you'll be playing. The first part of this tutorial is how to take your PS2 games, put them into your PlayStation 3 and turn them into your own ISO formats to play right off the hard drive. To do this, you need to go into the Multi-Man Content Manager into the Games section. I already have Tron Evolution loaded right here, but you'll need to do your PS2 games from this exact same location. Put your PS2 disc into the console and you'll see it come up. You'll see here Need for Speed and you'll see that the icon badging underneath it says Disc. Press the triangle button on the controller, then come down in the menu options to create ISO. From here, it'll ask you where you want to put it, but it will always put them in a folder on the root of your PlayStation 3 hard drive in a folder called PS2 ISO. It normally takes around 15 minutes to copy one of these discs over. Press X for OK, and then X to continue through the confirmation screens. Now you can eject the disc from the console. PS3 games are launched from the Game tab, but PS2 games are launched from the Retro tab. If you look now, you'll see that Need for Speed is listed as HDD badging with ISO, which means you've copied the game over correctly. You're likely to see more than one listing for Need for Speed or any game you copy over because one's probably going to be a Q file, which is just a file that helps some programs understand text labels or where things start on the disc itself. Choose the game you want to launch and press the X button on the controller. When the PlayStation main menu comes back up, you should still be in the Game tab. Press up several times, and you'll see something now called PlayStation 2 Format Disc. That's the game that you set up to launch from inside Multiman. Press the X button, you'll get the PlayStation logo, and your game will begin. You can back up as many of your original discs as you have hard drive space for on your PlayStation 3. And you can even take the ISO files and move them from your PlayStation 3 into remote storage for archiving. If you already have your PS2 games in ISO format, you can move them over using a USB stick or USB powered hard drive in FAT32 format. Insert them into the rightmost USB port on your PlayStation 3. Scroll over to the Retro tab, then scroll up to Refresh. Press the X button on Refresh and your game will show up like for example, OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. Note here that it's on USB as indicated in the badge under the game title. It will not play off of USB, you will have to install it to your hard drive. But Multiman makes this very simple. Press the X button and it'll ask you straight up, do you want to install it to your PlayStation internal hard drive? Slide over to yes and press the X button. It'll take care of copying the ISO over to the correct folder, PS2 ISO, on your PlayStation 3 hard drive. Once it's done copying it over, it will load it to your PlayStation XMB main menu. And at the Games tab, scroll up until you get to PlayStation 2 Format Disc. Press the X button to launch the game. The PlayStation 2 logo appears. And right away, your game starts right from the hard drive. Very cool, huh? But for games larger than 4 gigabytes in disk image or ISO size, this will not work. You'll need to use FTP in order to move these over to your PlayStation 3. This is a better method because not only does it let you move disk images larger than 4 gigabytes, 
it also only requires one step because instead of moving the images over to a USB drive, then to the hard drive in the PS3, it's a straight shot from your computer to the PS3 hard drive. Here's how it's done. Launch Multiman from the PlayStation main menu. If you've already configured FTP, all you have to do is just leave it sitting there. If you haven't, look at the video in the description below to learn how it's done. From your internet connected Windows or Mac computer, you'll need to launch an FTP application like FileZilla. Sign on to your PlayStation 3's IP address with no username, password, or port number required. Once you're signed in, you'll need to get to the directory where your ISO file that you want to transfer over is located. In this case, it's in the Downloads folder, and it's Snoopy vs. The Red Baron. Why Snoopy vs. The Red Baron, you ask? Because I'm the world record holder on the Atari 2600 version. Seriously, it took me 7 hours and 15 minutes to get the world record, and my thumb hurt for months from holding down the red fire button on that Atari joystick. Back at FileZilla, connect to the Dev HDD0 hard drive on your PlayStation 3. The folder you're looking for is called PS2 ISO once again. Scroll down to PS2 ISO and click into it. There's that OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast ISO that we just transferred over by USB. Grab the file that you want to transfer in, drag it and drop it into the PS2 ISO folder to transfer it by FTP. Once it's done transferring the ISO files, you can either transfer some more over right to this same folder, or just close out of the FTP software and go back to your PlayStation 3. Multiman should still be open on your PS3 from using the FTP aspects of the software. Scroll over to the Retro tab, go to Refresh and press the X button. Now you should see the game that you just copied over, in this case, Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. And if you see here, the badging shows that it is in fact an ISO file and it's on the hard drive. Press the X button to load it to the PlayStation main menu. Back at the PlayStation menu, it's the same process as always. Go to the Game tab, scroll up to PlayStation 2 Format Disk, and press the X button to launch the game. PlayStation 2 logo comes up, and in no time you'll be fighting the Red Baron in the World War I skies with your biplane. But none of this would be any fun if you had to start over from the beginning every time. Let me show you how to set up virtual memory cards for your PlayStation 2 right on your PS3 console. Back at the PlayStation main menu, from the Game tab, scroll down several choices until you see this. Memory Card Utility. Press the X button to select it. Create New Internal Memory Card. Press the X button. You'll get two choices. You can create one for the PlayStation 2 or one for the original PlayStation. Pick PS2. You can rename it if you wish, but I'm not that original. Just call it internal memory card if you wish. Scroll down and press the X button on OK. It'll start to create it and then tell you you need to assign it to a slot. In other words, it's like whether you put it in slot number one or slot number two on the physical machine. Press circle to go back and at internal memory card, press the triangle button, then scroll down to assign slot. From here, you can pick any of the slots you want. Might as well use number one if it's not used. This way, when you go to start those games that you've loaded over for the first time, it will stop prompting you repeatedly to select a card or telling you that there's no card available to save the games to. I've also linked the PS Dev Wiki page that helps you determine whether or not the PlayStation 2 game you want to move over to your PS3 and play through emulation is compatible. It's a great resource to help you determine whether or not the games you want to use are going to work for you in this process. Make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're here so you don't miss out on great original video game content as it's posted. And check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the description below and pinned comments below. Thank you so much for being here, I sure do appreciate it, and I'm going to look forward to seeing you in the next video.